Okay, so one thing when we are creating cars in 3D is there's always little things you can do which make it that much more realistic. And in one of my most recent renders, I've been having a lot of questions about what is actually called the sidewall of a tire. Not a lot of people know that's what it's called, so it's kind of hard to ask what it is when you don't know what it is. Oh, what's the side of the tire? It's the sidewall. And um, there is quite a few textures of tire sidewalls uh, kicking about. And today, I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, I will be using Octane, but you don't really need it because it is kind of going to mirror my UV mapping tutorial. But rather than just sending people there and then them still not being able to do it, I thought I would just show you here. So the only difference is if you're not using Octane or you're using another render, um, use the image texture or whatever it is in that render. Um, over there it shouldn't actually matter because I I still have the sidewall texture here but I see my selection tag is off this side of the tire so the way it's done is you select the side of the tire and then you would apply this like that now I already UV'd it so it's already on but I'm going to show you how to UV it because this texture is UV'd. But as you can see, that makes the tire look 10 times more realistic. The only thing is, is the textures I have, I'm using a bump map. I tried to make a normal map. It made it look more funny. I think it would look maybe more realistic just using a normal map. But if you get too close to it, it does look a bit dodgy. Um, I think that's just to do with the resolution of the texture I'm using. But, uh, when you're rendering a shot at a fair distance and you need to sell it you can get away with it so what i'll do is i'm going to take off these again um now i believe this is for the most part already uv'd i've got my tire texture here the scene that will be available on my self eye um with the tire texture the tire uh, if you don't have a tire model it maybe practice with a cylinder or something but chances are you do have a tire model kicking about there easy enough to get so if we go into BP UV edit here, you can see it's going to look a little bit like this. So what you can do, make sure it's selected um, by hitting this thing up here. The tools are quite similar. You want to load in your side, the sidewall texture. And then you want to hit this little settings icon. And maybe put that, I don't know, call it sidewall maybe. Spherical. Sorry. And then projection, hit cubic. Then if you come back into your octane, and we just grab a new material here, pop it onto our selection. Now it looks like Lightning McQueen's new tires. And what we're going to do is just find that same texture. Make the color black, doesn't really matter about much else right now. Put that in the bump and it should be matched to your top. You can maybe put a transform on it, bring it down a couple increments. Uh, so, just so it fits maybe about there. If you put it in the diffuse, I'll put color correct. Oh, in fact, do that with it. I will put a color correction on it just so we can see here. I, and then you mess about with some of these things, you can get a cool little thing. Go and make the text show up a little bit more. So you can see here that it all loaded in. I know it seems a lot more complicated than it. The UV edit can be a bit of a hassle to mess around with, but it shouldn't bother you. So that's how you create the tire. Uh, I know it was maybe more of an overview, overview than a tutorial. I think in a few days I'm going to upload a tutorial on the car paint using universal materials because it's the easiest way to make car paints in Octane. They are quite basic, there is a lot of tutorials on them, I don't know if I will or not, but the original Audi scene is going to be up on myself, I, this tire scene, a few more car scenes, I'm going to put a tutorial on there of me making one of these dark lit car scenes like the Tron or the Audi. I'm going to do it with an Nissan GTR and I'm going to do like a 2-3 hour long tutorial of me making it. To get the sidewall textures, just google 
uh, some sidewall textures. I'll try and leave some links as well uh, to where I got these ones. But without further ado, that was just quite a quick tutorial. I wanted to show you how to create this. Hopefully it will make your car renders look that much better. And hopefully I'll see you soon for another tutorial on the car paint. And without further ado, this has been Sketchy. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Cross on a block with a motherfucking hype. Cross on a block with a motherfucking hype.